Good afternoon. I just flew in from Central Asia. So if you start seeing me get a little bit wobbly, just um, bear with me. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank WGSN for inviting me to engage with you and talk about Bling Buy. And before I start, any company, any creative idea has an amazing team. I'd like to introduce my co-founder and partner, Rob. Rob, don't be shy. And Seth and Michelle, who are responsible for the visual delivery of what you're going to see. What is Bling Buy? I've heard a lot of people talk about how do you deliver content? What age group are you looking at? What demographic? We don't care about any of that. In fact, the way Bling Buy was conceived, we don't have to. So you're going to have to bear with me. It's going to unravel. Be inspired. Be the experience. Let me introduce you to Bling Buy. Please pay the So now what this presentation is going to do, I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes of questions, or five, so I want you to be active, I want you to challenge me up here, is to unravel to you the value proposition of what you just saw in our delivery systems. What does that mean? Is Bling Buy just an app that you download and you kind of watch a video? Is it just a website? No, it's not only that. We actually just launched a Harrods campaign our technology can go on anybody's website and provide the same experience. How about watching Spectre and at the moment that you're watching it, have it tailored to a franchise, a merchant, where you can buy your products that are shown there. So it's transportable. When you look at Bling Buy and experience it, you have all the different facets of what lured you, what captivated you, what made you opt in. You can find the music, you can find the clothes. But also interesting, you can get tickets. You can book a trip off of Bling Buy and actually stay in the same place that maybe that star, that video promoted to you. And if we don't tag it, you can vote it. But more importantly, on the experiential, how many of you seen the video Hotline Bling? Everybody. Well, did you know that it was inspired by James Terrell? Bling Buy is not about just buying clothing. It's about experiencing the entire visual entertainment that you selected, that you opted in, that you searched for. Not us telling you what content you should know. So we debunked the first thing about content. We already engaged you. It's a seduction. You've told us what you want to see. What we do, like the Dance of Seven Veils, is we unravel it for you. So when we did this, when we brought James Terrell, do you know how many um, Drake fans went, who's James Terrell? The data for buying his book, the data of looking for tickets to go see an exhibit was huge. Who knew Drake fans would like contemporary art? If you're fixated in content delivery. When you look at Bling Buy, you have all of the different things that you can experience. But I also want to bring you to this. Those of you that know the video The Hills from the weekend, well, let's say you want to impress somebody. We can actually allow you to rent that same exact mansion 
You can throw a party, you can bring a friend, you can experience that video if it allured you. In Taylor Swift's Wildest Dreams, most people that like that video are now looking at Botswana. They want to stay in the San An camp, the same camp that she's there. And from there, they also want to turn around and maybe buy that clothing, and maybe buy that product and download the music. But now imagine yourself perhaps wearing something elegant, listening to her music in that same resort. Bling Buy has gotten a lot of very good press, and we're very, very happy about it. We just started, so we're a startup, legitimately. But some of what you hear about Bling Buy, which is really interesting, is that they're talking about us revolutionizing product placement. No more awkward beats. I'm swimming in the pool, and there's a beat on me. Seriously. You can take back the creative focus. An artist, a producer, can turn around and do their video, how their music inspires them. And since we can unravel the experience, you don't have to worry about the clunky product placement. Another thing which I think is very interesting about Bling Buy, all of you are talking about millennials and how do we get the older and the generation we really don't care. Why? Because you're telling us. Bling Buy appeals to all ages. I'm going to pause this for a second. It appeals to all ages, all income brackets. If you can't buy that dress or that suit, we'll give you alternatives. If you like Billy Idol, we made Billy Idol's clothing sexy. So if you're in that age group that grew up with Billy Idol like I did, you can actually go to his concert in Las Vegas, wear punk chic and not look ridiculous, because we interpreted the video for you, and we can fly you there and help you book a hotel. And it also, oh, this age group that the panel was just talking about, how do we engage with them? She likes Frank Sinatra. She can shop for her husband, loved one, and get clothing that are inspired by old blue eyes. So we're not limited. So here, we bring a different kind of context. We're saying to you, we're not worried about your age. We're not worried about your demographic, your income level. We're actually not even worried where you are in the world. Bling Buy is in over 130 countries are actively engaged with us in our delivery system. We have music videos that promote Morocco, Arabic music. We even had an introduce, which was interesting, an Indian um, rapper to the American audience. Bling Buy as well is not just about music videos. We've taken native advertising. Take a look at the, at the I Am The Sound Ibiza from the Ministry of Sound, a one-minute reel. We unravel. We take you to that exact spot that's there. We take you to the exact beach house if you want to be on. And you can also get the headphones. So if you're looking to product place or to create native advertising, what better than to provide something that no one knows, and listen to me closely, they're being advertised to. What Bling Buy has created is an advert-less experience. I'm going to let that hang for a second. In terms of festival reels, you go to Boardmasters. You loved it. But if you're a sponsor, your existence ended after that day. Am I correct? So you paid all this money. People went away, and they kind of forgot about you. But what if they made an after movie or a promotional? What if your advertising, your sponsorship can live forever? Bling by answers that. If you look at movie trailers, which we do as well, people look at me, and I put Tarzan here on purpose. They said, Tarzan? <laughs> what are you going to get out of Tarzan? But for tickets, really? Well, if you watch the movie trailer or the movie, and down deep inside, somewhere inside of you, you said, wow, that treehouse where the baby was found is kind of cool. Well, we'll put you on the treehouse. There's a treehouse experience in a five-star resort echo lodge where you can actually stay in a hotel on the trees. That's the full experience of Bling Buy. We are heavily in social media, but what we've noticed is that we're bringing in, depending on the medium of the social media, different age groups are participating. We have an older that are turning around and saying, hey, I want to get something for my daughter, and I know she likes Ariana Grande. 
Or we got a great reception when we pushed out Frank Sinatra, not on Twitter, but on Facebook, which makes sense as a delivery system. So we kind of change and debunk a little bit of this obsession of finding out your market. But what's the value proposition for the people that are not just users, but are merchants? We unlock your creative. We talked about not being confined to product placement, which is obvious and destructive. And quite frankly, people laugh when they see an awkward beats now. We have also been able to get unsigned artists. Now, let me tell you something. People upload to us their videos that they made at home. Very good quality. Not signed by a label. And we put them through the same process. And here's revolution to you. They sell. You don't need to be Justin Bieber. You don't even have to be known the way Bling Buy delivers experience to you. Obviously, if you're a merchant, we track data. We tell you who's buying, what's not buying. But let me tell you what else we do. It's not just passive data. Do you know that our most viewed video is Sorry? Now, if you don't know this video, Sorry, from Justin Bieber, has anyone seen it? Come on, I know there's Justin Bieber. OK. Is he in the video? OK, if you're shy, I'm going to walk to you. And then it becomes a whole teacher thing. What is it? No? Is he in the video? No. Most sales. Mm, people's heads bopped up. Most sales from a video that has normal bodied women and no Justin Bieber. You can ask me why afterwards. So we're also big data. We collect all sorts of data. And in the question and answer, I, I'll let you ask me about it. But a show of hands, do you think that Bling Buy appeals more to women or men? Again here. Men. Let me debunk again. Mostly men, slightly more, um, and more pronounced on mobile. Men are engaging with us, all different types of videos. And we can explore why. So when this originally started, people said, oh, it's going to be for girls between 15 and 20. I'm like, no, it's not. So let's re-challenge a little bit of what we believe in trends. Let's not imitate what people have already done and try to catch up. Let's innovate. Let's cause a little bit of a panic. Um, the way we created our technology, we're going to go into kids. We're going to go into sporting. We're going to go into smart TV. And we're also going to go into live streaming. That's the next evolution of Bling Buy. It is limitless what Bling Buy can do. And that's the importance of not focusing only on an app, no matter how the mobile aspect is, but focusing on a platform, a lifestyle, so we involve with you. So we can engage your entire family. That's how it's looked to. We talked about the Harrods campaign. And I'm going to stop here, because I know I've debunked many, many different things that some of you have been discussing here. And I'd like to hear some questions.